Corner for Norwich Boxen here with Dan Gibson, the Eastern Counties champion. Second time? That's right, yeah, second time. Um, talk us through the fight. Like, how do you, obviously, it's a while ago now, but. Yeah, sure. Um, um, so, um, I done really well in the Eastern Counties um, uh, title, and, um, you know, I, I had a really tough lap from uh, his beat, really strong, but um, I, I just stuck to my boxing skills and we've tried to pick him off, and, yeah, he's a really tough lad. Something I've, I've spoke to the, sort of the coaches afterwards, you know, try and get a bit of feedback on it, and something they said you you stopped with the skills so much and stuck to your yeah. boxing. Yeah. Um, did you feel that sort of benefited you in the belt? Yeah, it it, it did because um, you know I, I've I've been having a uh, Tommy McCallis and all the rest of the coaches looking after me, and um, they've kind of changed my my style into like more advanced with the amateurs. Do you know what I mean? And um, you know, with the amateurs, it's about like scoring these shots and and uh, being really quick and stuff. You know, and not just standing on your feet and trying to trying to hurt the other opponent. So I've learned that now. And I think the, the, key, the key point of it is just to listen to your coaches. That's, that's, that's very important. Um, looking forward, obviously, you're now out of an injury. Can you sort yeah. of fill us in on that a little yeah, bit? Yeah, so, um, so I got through to the quarterfinals and um, I boxed a, a, an army lad in Aldershot. And um, you know, I boxed really well in the first round. You know, it's, it, it's, it's one of the best rounds I've ever had. And then all of a sudden, my shoulder was playing up in the, um, in the second round and you know, I couldn't really throw it. Uh, nice backhand and like I was losing confidence and stuff during the fight, but um, I, I I I I knew I could have won that fight. You know that fight was basically mine, but um, with an injured arm, do you know what I mean? It just it just went the wrong way for me. But, um, so now with the injury, sort of, you you know you, it's a recovery process for yeah. that. Um, what do you hope to be looking at in the new year? I'm guessing the new year will be when you're well, um, back in the ring. Yeah, sure. I'm I'm, I'm hoping to be back um, just at the end of December, January time because um, I've got the um, elite ABAs uh, in March so um, and I'm hoping you know my shoulder heals up and I'm currently going through physiotherapy so we'll see how it goes but I would like to join um, to be in the uh, championships in March. As we're talking Fury Klitschko are yeah. currently fighting yeah, yeah. so remember once the video goes out the result will be known. Yeah. How do you see this fight going? Well um, I, I really want uh, Tyson Fury to win and um, uh, simply because, like, obviously, you know, he's, he's really full of confidence, and um, you know, I've, I, I, uh, Klitschko is really good. Obviously, you know, he's he's, he's world champion, but you know, the the heavyweight division is, is so boring at the moment because no one wants to box him, and he's just like holding the belts and stuff. So, if Tyson Fury gets this belt, it'll be more interesting to watch the heavyweight and see who he's going to uh, box next and stuff. So, well, there but, we go. Personally, I think it's going to go all the way. It's going to go all the way. Uh, points to uh, Tyson Fury. Well, thanks for your time, Gat, Dan, you. and uh, Thank you. look forward to the new year. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.